how do you describe yourself? I would describe myself as, you know, actually that's a very interesting question because I've never thought of describing myself. Uh, I think I would describe myself as a creative, a digital native, and a radical transparency activist. So radical transparency, so it's like, uh, I, I believe in having, you know, open platforms, open channels. I believe that, you know, institutions should be transparent about transparent about the way that they spend money, especially government institutions or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, civil institutions. And, you know, transparency is the way to go in terms of, you know, where we need to go as a country or as Africans or as creatives. Like, mm -hmm. the more transparent we are about what we're doing and how we're doing it, the more we can learn from our mistakes and, you know, pick up the trends and, you know, learn from each other and, you know, fix things as we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty cool. So with that, um, what platforms have you set up or what have you done with, with that radical transparency? What have uh, you done? Uh, lots and lots of stuff. Uh -huh. uh, but I think for, I think right now I'm more known for uh, uh, the project that I'm currently running called Open Pali. Mm -hmm. um, so that's more of an open data project. Uh, so we take government data and make it more accessible to people uh, online and offline. Uh, so I think that's the best example of a radical transparency project. Right. Where, uh, we make parliament, uh, the parliament answered more accessible, make mm -hmm. bills more accessible, we break down the bills and make it, make them you know, make sense to someone who reads them or who doesn't really know what a bill is supposed to say. Right. Uh, and so, yeah, making things more clearer for ordinary citizens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's doubling more into educating. <clears throat> yeah, educating. Uh, okay. Using, you, you know, using cre creative ways uh, of educating uh, the population, you know. Uh, so uh, edu, edu civic tech. I guess that's what we call it. Take. Take. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you come up with some new words, <laughs> words that I've never heard of, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so tell me, how did you actually come about studying the Open Party? Well, you know, so Open Party is a Magamba Network project. Right. So it, um, it started off with a boot camp. So we had a, we had a, we had a group of young people, and we're going towards the 2018 elections. Uh, so mm -hmm. we were wondering why young people weren't getting involved in elections, why they weren't participating in processes. You know, there was a just a general, uh, you know, disconnection between young people and, 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 and right. the political processes. So uh, we were wondering what the, what that what the problem was, and we were going towards the 2018 elections. It was mm -hmm. in 2016 when we, we we noted this trend, and then so we got a a group of young people together and we had like a focus group discussion mm -hmm. you know just to find out where they were and then uh they started talking and they were like oh you know political processes are boring uh, we don't mm -hmm. know and two we have no access to the corridors of power so we don't mm -hmm. know what goes on in parliament we don't even know what the processes are so for us to be involved in certain processes we need to understand them better uh so over a period of three days we you know, brainstormed uh, how we could make, uh, you know, like government data more accessible to them. Yeah. And in those days, there was free Twitter, like 2016, uh, Twitter was still free on the Ethernet platform. So we, we, they, they the, the young people who participated in the bootcamp decided to like, okay, why don't we uh, send a young person into parliament with you know, a phone, and then they just sit in there, and then they just live tweet everything that's happening. Were you allowed to do that? Yeah, you're allowed to in do the parliament? that. Yeah, you're allowed to do that. So okay. Parliament, Zimbabwean Parliament actually has a public gallery. So you, mm. any person can actually go in there and sit. Mm. All you need is, you need to dress formally and have your ID. That's right. all you need. But you can attend parliament sessions. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we did. So we sent the first young person, and they set up the Twitter handle, and then that's how it started. And then a couple of uh, months later, Facebook launched, uh, Facebook Live, and then we're like, okay, so why don't you just start live streaming the session? So literally, yeah. it's young people with cell phones in, in Parliament, uh, selfie sticks, mm. we've got no professional <laughs> cameras, nothing, everything is done by cell phones, so yeah. it's like Samsung phones and uh, selfie sticks, that's it. Mm. So you've been in Parliament prior to this project? No. Yourself? You haven't been? No. So that was your first? That was our first foray into Parliament, yeah. and, I, and I've hardly been to Parliament, uh, yeah. like my... 
how I access Parliament is through Open Parl as well. I like just watch through the videos and I participate that way. Right. Uh, also, because there's a limited number of uh, things that you can do with, with Parliament, so the times may not be convenient. So we mm. figured this. A lot of people don't have the time to be going to Parliament. Yeah. Uh, they have work to do. They have stuff right, to do. Right, so right. this was a very convenient way to you know to get people to participate and to see what was happening. Okay. Yeah. So are you also into politics? I'm not into politics. I wouldn't call myself. I'm, a, I'm more of a creative, actually. Uh -huh. uh, but I, I like to use my creativity to help those who want to spread a message, right. uh, 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 you know, across across mm -hmm. the across whatever channels that they have. Mm -hmm. And I think the uh, parliament just happened to be a very important, critical uh, component of what we were going through as a country. So I thought, yeah. you know, this this would be this would be a great way. And it was by accident, actually. So it wasn't wasn't by design. It was mm -hmm. literally by accident. Mm -hmm.